Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at restarting the Piano Marvel plugin. Now, this video assumes that you have already installed the Piano Marvel plugin. If you have not done that, uh, please do so. And there is another video on our support page here that shows how to do that. So, we're going to start here on Windows. This computer is Windows 8. And the process is going to be very similar for Windows 7 and uh, Windows 10. So we're going to go to the Windows Explorer and when you're in here um, there's different ways to get to the control panel but we're just going to do it this way. We're going to come up here and type control panel and there it is. Go ahead and select that. Okay so now we are in the control panel and what we want to look for is the services. Um, so and I can just start typing the word service. I don't have to type the whole word and we already get administrative tools, view local services. So this is what we're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and let that pull up. So Piano Marvel, like um, other services, runs here in the services panel. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down until we find the Piano Marvel plugin. Okay. Now, the status currently says that it's running, so that's good. That's exactly what we want to see. Uh, if you come in here, and I'm going to go ahead and click stop on this to stop the plugin. If you come in here and there's no status, or maybe the status says something else, there may be a problem. So, um, what you can do is select this, and you should have the option to click start the service. So, we'll go ahead and click that. So basically we closed the plugin from running and now we've uh, opened it back up. So now we can see the plugin is running and when we open Piano Marvel we can actually verify that it's working. So I'm going to go to my browser real quick and we'll go to pianomarvel.com Let that load here for just a second. Here we go. And when I click launch app now, if the plugin is not detected, I will get a message that tells me plugin is not found. I'm not seeing that, so that tells me that our plugin is running and that the browser does detect it. Okay, so now we're going to go on over to the Mac computer. And on the Mac here, we are going to want to look in the activity monitor. So we'll go to the spotlight search and type the word activity. Actually, just starting to type it pulls it up. Activity monitor, so we'll click on that. And that opens up our activity monitor. So in here, we can see all kinds of processes running, but what we want to look for is our piano plugin. So we're going to just type the word piano, and there it is, piano plugin. So we can see, since it is in this list, that it is running. If it was not running, uh, it would not show up in this list at all. Now we can uh, force quit the, the plugin in order to restart it if we want to. And actually what happens on the Mac is when we force quit it, it starts back up really quickly automatically. So it's just a very quick restart of the plugin. Uh, so I'm going to hit force quit and it looks like it continues to run but it actually reloaded really quickly. Another way though to restart the plugin is to simply restart the computer and that should be it. But if you just want to verify that the plugin is installed and running, you can do that right here on your Mac computer in the activity monitor. If you have further questions, please check out the other topics on our support page or you can also reach out to our support team.